Well, what are we fixing today? Well, right now I'm staring into the sun a bit, so sorry about that. Uh, I thought I'd come out here by my by my uh, lilac hedge, which is kind of cool. Good place to start. I still don't have my office back, you know. Anyway, today we're going to look at some YAML code. I know, a little bit dry. So I'll make it short, but I want to show you how I control my ceiling fan in my bedroom or actually how Home Assistant controls it for me. It sets the speed based on the temperature of the room, based on the time, all that kind of thing. It's pretty cool. I also uh, am using the new knot condition, so I thought people might want to see how to use that in anger. So, uh, you know, I am, uh, I'll show you my shirt. I always have a different shirt on. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. All the code will be on the webpage in the YAML and stuff, so uh, if you want to skip to that, I understand. Um, still give me a like if you think this is useful. But anyway, let's go and I'll show you how it all works. Away we go. Well, here I am at my um, Home Assistant interface. And you can see here, what we're going to be talking about today is these three switches here. This is the front end, the operator, the user end, if you will. And we're going to create YAML to make this turn on and off and change speeds based on the temperature of the room. Now this is a iFan 02 actually that's running up there and it has a temperature sensor hanging on it, which is where these come from. Right now it's pretty warm in the room, 83. I don't want to be sleeping in there now, but uh, that's what it is right now. Uh, just so you know, there's also an air conditioner in this room. It is actually brand new air conditioner. It's Wi-Fi enabled, but it's run through the GE, well, since I'm a GE guy, it's actually run by Hire, who bought the GE appliance line from GE, uh, but they still use, I'll say our name because I'm a company man, you know, well, retired, but still company man. Anyway, they put in an app, um, and it does not have an integration to Home Assistant, which is, which sucks. <laughs> so I have to run the air conditioner on a separate app on a separate timer. It works. I would really rather have it in here so I could actually control it. So this is a, you know, can somebody out there please, please make an integration to the GE, uh, the GE slash hire stuff so we can talk to it from Home Assistant. It would be awesome! Anyway, enough off my soapbox here. Let's show you the guts of this. Uh, here is the code. Uh, bedroom code. Now this is just a generator UUID that I just use this as the ID. So this is just has to be a unique number for automations. Um, the name. Uh, this tells me that the automation will run at boot. So that's what this is for. This is not saying that the output is on and off. This is t saying that the automation is enabled, if you will, and it will perform its functions. So the way it's set now, at 7.30 p.m., what's going to happen is it's going to trigger at 7.30 and first thing it's going to look at is the sensor, uh, the door sensor. Is the door open or closed? And if the door is open, it's then going to check the temperature in the room. If the temperature in the room was above 73, it's then going to check if the um, automation is enabled. Do I want this thing to be turning on and off? In the winter, I don't. So in the winter, this is going to be off all the time. It's going to check and make sure that's on. This is a reoccurring theme in all of these automations. If I don't want the thing on, I, I want to disable these automations so that in the winter it won't turn on in the middle of the night and freeze me. But what this one does is it, t it sends a message to the, the, my intercom stack in the house. So all the Googles will say, the bedroom door is open. Um, this is to make sure I close the darn door before the air conditioner comes on because I don't want to cool the hole upstairs. I'm the only one and my wife, and we're the only one up there and we're going to be in that room. So we only want that room cool. This is all to just say, hey, dummy, close the door. <laughs> and I did this rather than try to automate 
because I don't have access to the air conditioner, in, in an old iteration, the sensor would not let the air conditioner come on. Now, I don't have a direct interface to the air conditioner itself. You know, that's the way it goes. All right, now to the guts, setting the fan speed. Again, there's a number, it's a unique number. Uh, we'll come down here, and the trigger is, one, the temperature in the bedroom changes. All right, so any change in temperature will trigger this automation. We'll try to trigger it based on conditions. Then is the speed change function, do I want it to happen? So it makes sure that that boolean is on. Um, or at 8 o'clock p.m., always trigger then, because I always want to check then to make sure, you know, I want to fire this off if it's going. The conditions for all this is it's between 8 p.m. and 9 a.m. So this will only, this only sets the temperature in the, between these times. And also, um, the, this is on, all right. So I guess I got this in here twice, but that's all right. I wanted to make damn sure it was. I missed that. You only really need one of these two. I'm gonna leave them both in there. What's going to happen then if the trigger happens and the conditions are met, then it's gonna go down here and try to set the fan speed. The fan has, this is an iFan 02, so it has, it runs through MQTT and it has four speeds, off, low, medium, high. Off is a speed. So first thing I do is set a variable just for clarity to the temperature, current temperature of the room. Temperature room goes into BTE, bedroom temperature. Then I set BAT, which is bedroom auto temp, to the number that comes in from the input boolean, or from the input slot number. I'll show you those in a minute. So I have two variables here. One says this is the temperature it is, and bat is this is the temperature where you start doing things. So, the first checks. Is it warmer in the room than the setting? Or is if it's not warmer in the room than the setting, if the temperature in the room is less than the setting, if you will, it sets the fan to off. So as the air conditioner is running at night, um, once in a while the room actually gets up to the temperature that, that the bat is set to and it'll shut the fan off. Pretty nice, right? Um, it, the next thing is, is and now these things stack. Once they, once they execute, it drops to end. So that's why they're all kind of stacked, right? So first it says, is, is it higher than it at all? So, so, now it, so now it says, oh, say it the other way. Say it, oh, it is warmer in the room than the setting. It'll try the next one. The next one is, is it less than five and a half degrees warmer than the setting? And if it is, it sets it to one, which is low. But say it's... Um, it's seven degrees warmer than the setting. Oh, okay. Then it, then that's not right. It won't pass that one. It'll come down here and say, is it less than eight and a half degrees over the setting? And if yes, it sets the fan to speed two. And they say, oh, well, let's say it's 10 degrees warmer than the setting. Oh, well then, no, no, no. Um, then no matter what else, if it's warmer than eight and a half degrees over setting, it sets the fan to high and drops out. So during the night, what happens is, up here a little bit, is as the temperature changes and it's within the time frame, it goes down here, checks the current room temperature, and sets the fan to the speed that's appropriate. Pretty nice, right? But then you said, well, what about the morning? Uh, if you leave that fan on all morning, you're probably not going to get up because it's pretty comfy in there, right? Well, this is taking care of that. Uh, first thing is, the trigger is, if I turn the auto system off, it will trigger. And that's to make sure that the fan just goes off and doesn't just stay on forever. 
Otherwise, at 9.12 in the morning, 9.15 in the morning, 9.20 in the morning, it will check and it will try to turn the fan off because my alarm goes off at 9.14 every morning and I don't want that fan running because if it is, I just stay in bed and stay cuddled. <laughs> I want to get my ass out of bed. So I turn off the fan and make it warm and uncomfortable in the room. You know, the air conditioner goes off before this as well. Anyway, the next thing it does is condition. And here's where the knot, the new knot, comes into apply. Now here it says, value not accepted, blah, blah, blah. This, this here is a problem with Visual Studio Code, which they have to catch up on. Um, this configuration does test properly. Uh, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, but this is the new with uh, with 0 0.110 uh, Home Assistant. This is a new function, not. So it's going to come down here and say, is the bedroom fan, what is the state of the bedroom fan off? And it makes a decision and says not. So, so if it's on any of these speeds, except for off, it will here, up here, these are the speeds of the fan. It checks the fan speed. And if it's not off, it then falls through and turns it off. So this is a, this is a good way to use not. Otherwise, every time it would come in here, it would at 912, 915, 920, it would go run this automation and try to turn it off. There's no reason for that. They put in this condition and it just let, runs it only if it's all off. So that way if, you know, some enterprising, um, uh, old man in the morning says, I want to sleep, I need the fan on. Hey, famous search engine, turn that darn fan back on. Well, you know what? It's going to turn it off again. <laughs> it ain't going to let me get away with that. And since I know I'm not going to get away with it, I either have to lay in bed until after 9.20 and sweat my butt off, or just get up. So, it's working pretty good. <laughs> anyway, when it decides, it turns the fan off, and that's done the same way it is up here. It's done by sending a zero and turning the fan off. So let's look at, that's the entire automation that does everything. This is uh, the helper files. So auto fan, this is the one. It's a toggle and it holds the, uh, holds the uh, condition that I set, do I want the automation to run or not? And then here's the auto temp, which is a number. Um, this helper sets a slider, which I'll show you in a second. Um, I have the setting between 70 and 80, which seems like about right. It's a slider. Uh, unit of measurement is F and the name. So that's how, this is how you set a slider. And the slider looks like this. Here's the slider. Take this and you can set it to whatever you want. If you want it to 80, if you want it to 70, whatever. I think I had it to 74. We'll leave it there. And this is my override. If I don't want this autumn thing to run, I just slip this off and it will not run. If it is running, when I flip it off, it'll shut it off. This is the sensor for the bedroom door. You can see it here. Uh, right now the door is open. That's how it works. So, a little short one today. I know YAML's a little dry, so, you know, like I said, check the website out. It has all the YAML. Hope this, uh, hope you can use this. Uh, you get any kind of a MQTT fan, it'll work pretty much as is. Uh, the iFan 02, iFan 03, and, you know, if you take a look at uh, 3 of he's come up with an MQTT fan, I think. It would work with that. No problem. Thanks for watching. Hope you uh, hope you liked it. Um, if you did, if it helped you, likes are good. Love likes. Um, subscribing would be appreciated. I could use subscribers. Uh, you can watch some of my other videos and stuff I have. So, thanks for watching. Till next time.